Hey there, so this isn't going to be the usual manga analysis video. I just recently got to a thousand books in my collection and I figured I'd share it with you today. I started collecting manga when I was around 11 years old and 17 years later I'm still going strong. So strong in fact that I'm running out of space. <sighs> But that's a problem for another time. Today, it's all about celebrating the joys of collecting. Any anyway, let's get into it. Before we begin though, I'd like to welcome you to Manga Analysis, where I do little reviews of the manga I've been reading. Well, usually, this episode is a little different, but regardless, if you like what you see and would like to see more, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like, maybe even type down a comment. Let's, let's get a conversation going. All right, so let's start at the top left of my shelf. I have some Asano books here, What a Wonderful World, Around the Shore and Solanine. I also have the Nijigahara Holograph, but it doesn't fit on the shelf, so it's somewhere else. I have some Tunagabe short story collections, which is the same person that did The Girl from the Other Side. And then I have Yoshino Zuikara, which is a three book series that is really, really interesting. It's from the same person who did Barakamon and Hanukun. And then I have the Moteki. And then starting from here on out, we go to some more completed series. I like to keep the completed series on top because it makes adding new books a little bit less stressful. So I have more Asano with Goodnight Pun Pun, Omade and Your Savage Season, which I made a video about. Love that series. Sweetness and Lightning, um, 12 books about essentially a family learning how to cook together and the hardships that may come from that. It's really fun, really cute. Hell's Paradise, and if you notice here, I have a pocket because this series is going to be done in about three books, and I wanted to make sure I didn't have to reorganize my whole shelf. I have the four books of Erased. I am aware that there is a fifth book, I believe, but honestly, for now, I'm not super interested. I'm happy with what I got here, and if I ever have, you know, some extra cash lying around or no necessities for a new series, I will pick up the last book. Shibuya Goldfish. I think I'm only missing one book as well. There's a bit of wiggle space in this area, so I can make a pocket. Hanukun. I don't have Barakamon, but I'm, I'm hoping to get it soon. It doesn't have that many books. Tokyo Ghoul Reply. And then over here, I have the box set for Tokyo Ghoul. The only reason they're not on my shelves is because I'm running out of space. Girls Last Tour, and then Blue Flag. And if we go back to the left, I have Orange. And for Orange, I have the five books in French, and then I have the last book in English, and it kind of bothers me because they don't have the same spine, but what can you do? Uh, Blue Dragon, Rao Grad, which is illustrated by Takeshi Obada, which I have a lot of his stuff. He's a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of him. King's Game. I also know that there are spin-off King, uh, King's Game series. I think there's a few, but that's the only one that really interested me. Nishijo, which apparently is coming back in print after a six year hiatus, so I'm looking forward to that. Strobe Edge and Blue Spring Ride, both by the same author. I have most of her stories, and I even have a collection of short stories. Just good old typical romance, shoujo. I love it, it's great. A Silent Voice, which is a great series. Very hard to read, especially the first few books but it has a wonderful, uh, wonderful ending. Death Note, um, a cool little thing about Death Note is I actually bought the new collection of short stories um, of all the Death Note, which includes the one that came out last year or the year before, and then a few that came out since. Um, I think it got announced in English for next summer or spring, but in French it's out now. And then we have Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, and then I have Lesson of the Evil, which I made a video on as well. Wolf Guy Wolfencrest, which um, I don't know that you can find these, find these in English. This one's in French. Forget Me Not, which is that series I mentioned in Old Maidens in Your Savage Season. It is done by the same artist, different writer though. Really good series, really recommend you guys check it out. Again, who knows, I do a video. High School of the Dead, um, which I think they only have the first seven volumes and then it went on hiatus. Eyes or E's, I don't know how to say it, but that's one of my favorite series of all time. And it took me a really, really, really long time to get these because they're out of print um, in French anyway. So I had to find them from third party bookstores or whatever. And I actually had the first seven books and like the 12th book or something. 
and I couldn't find the other ones for the life of me until I walked into a little bookstore that had the complete series and they would only sell it to me if I bought the whole thing. So I did and now I have random little volumes scattered across my apartment, but I'm very happy I have this. And then we have GE Good Ending, which is one of the first series by this, the, the artist that drew and wrote Domestic Girlfriend. But this one is a little less spicy, if you will. Go back to the left and there's GE Good Ending. And then we have All You Need Is Kill, which is a two, uh, two book series um, drawn by Takeshi Obata. The guy who did Death Note. Um, really, really, really good. And we have Bakuman. I'll move soul for a sec so you can see it 20 volumes and i actually have this cool little thing here which is essentially kind of like a extra book just talking about the characters and their series that they wrote in the series um but they sleeved it as as if it was like pcp volume one which is actually a story that the two main uh, characters in this series um came up with so i thought that was pretty cool um it's imported from japan so i actually can't read it but i'm just glad i have it in my shelves this is pandora hearts um, by the same person who is currently doing the case study of vanitas i'm rereading this right now and i'm really really enjoying it um, i'm glad that uh, i decided to reread it all right the girl the world god only knows um and in french it's called que sa volonté soit fait super good one of my all-time favorite rom-coms um they made an anime about it which is actually really really good i recommend the anime as well as the manga shaman king 32 volumes so this is actually one of the only series that i'm willing to sell because i reread it last summer and i have so little interest in it and i thought that maybe you know watching the new anime would rekindle my interest in it and it totally doesn't so if anyone wants to buy 32 books of Shaman King in French, comment below. We'll ship it. I'll ship it. Samurai Deeper Kyo, 38 volumes. Um, this is the first series I ever, ever started collecting. It has a really special place in my heart, and I reread it recently, and it still kind of holds up pretty okay. So it's good stuff. Um, Beast of Abigail four book series which is actually not mine it's my partner's so I, I couldn't tell you anything about it but she likes it so and whatever it makes my my collection look a bit bigger <laughs> the golden sheep um if you like the silent voice i think you should read this uh golden sheep it's very good kind of hard to read at first because you know bullying and stuff but has a very good ending okay and now we have scum's wish which is pretty good as well. Happiness. Um, okay, so funny thing about happiness is I'm actually currently making a video that is called um, four series or whatever, four or five series that I wouldn't recommend to anyone as sort of a companion to five series that I would recommend to anyone. And this is gonna be a part of that video. Um, I thought it was very good, but it it's very difficult to read. Lots of super gore um, deals with brutal topics so um yeah i look forward to that i guess and here we have love be loved leave be left which doesn't really make that much sense but it's actually the french version of love me love me not by the same person who did strobe edge and blue spring ride yeah it's just more or less the same as the other two good stuff and here we have platinum end which is the third time that oba and obada came together to write a series this is definitely not my favorite um i prefer bakuman and death note but this is quite it's still quite good the art is excellent um and it just finished with the 14th novel so and then here we have a girl from the other side one one novel missing very excited to finish it and reread it um and it's full full glory and here we have high rise invasion she got the final book have not read it yet um this was an okay series i'm glad i have it but i i don't see myself rereading it um the anime was i don't know the anime was okay i guess and then we have Rurouni kenshin um which i actually started collecting really recently it's easy when a collection is over a series is over because you can just essentially buy all the books at once um i really enjoyed it i had never read it before believe it or not so i finally have 
it's in my shelves and I'm quite happy. And Full Metal Alchemist, a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Um, you know, I have all the, the, the three-in-one books here. They're really, really good. I def definitely recommend you check it out. And you know what? Um, if you want to just watch the anime, that's fine as well. It's very, very good. And the soundtrack is awesome. Make sure you watch Brotherhood, though. And then I have Haikyuu, which is one of my favorite series. And that was another series that when I started reading them, the 39 first books were out. So I was able to buy essentially all of them in a matter of weeks, read all of it. And then they were coming out pretty consistently every two months or so since. So it was a really, really good purchase. Uh, one of my favorite series, really, really enjoy it. And here we have Kamisama Kiss, which again is not mine. This is my partner's. Um, but she really likes it. I watched the anime, I liked it too. So who knows, maybe I'll uh, actually read the books one day. And Hikaru no Go, one of my favorite series. Um, kind of like E's or I's or whatever. This one was hard to track down. I couldn't find them anywhere where I live or even on Amazon or chapters or whatever. So I just bit the bullet and ordered the three volumes that I was missing from France. Um, the shipping was not great, but I'm just happy that I have them in my shelves completed. Totally worth it. And Naruto, oh God, what, what to say about Naruto? I reread the entire series this year. It took me like six months because I was, not loving it um listen naruto did a lot for anime and manga and i think you know when I, I first read it when i was a younger younger boy it must have hit different but i reread it and i could not i had to force myself to finish it i did not enjoy it at all and i'm never gonna reread again but i'm not gonna sell it because it's like a huge chunk of my collection it's almost 10 percent of my collection um, so, you know, you do what you gotta do. And then Corps Solitaire, which is only in French, as far as I know. Um, and it's deceiving. It seems like it's going to be about, um, the difficulties of an asexual relationship. It turns out the reason they're not sleeping together, this couple, is not because they're asexual. It's just they're not sexually into one another, so they cheat. Which is not great, um, but it still has my curiosity, and I'm going to keep reading it. And Rent a Girlfriend, one of my favorite series, absolutely. Um, I usually get my books in huge hauls of about you know 10 or 12 books or whatever per month, um, and this is usually one of the first series I read because I love it. I love it. I love it. And then another Asano, Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction, which it seems like it's approaching an end. Um, I just watched a video by the Omnibus Collector, a super cool YouTube channel, and he actually said, hey man, I think it's finishing. And I thought it was already finishing. So if he says so, it must be at least a little true. So fingers crossed. I like me, I like me a series that doesn't overstay its welcome. And we got Blue Period, Drifting Dragons, and To You Eternity. Um, I spoke about To You Eternity in my five mangas i'd recommend anyone video um definitely check it out um the middle is definitely not as good as the first five volumes or so but i am glad to say that volume 13 14 and 15 have been very good and now my interest is completely reinvested into the series and then we have kakagurui a manga about gambling um which is kind of cool and then we have Children of the Whales, which is okay. Um, I think it had a stronger start um, and it sort of petered off, but it's still, it's still enjoyable. Golden Kamui. Okay, I've made like a video about it. I reference it a lot in my other videos. I could talk all day about Golden Kamui. Definitely check it out. The anime is also very good. I recommend it. And here we have Zom 100. Um, I'll be honest, I actually only picked up this series because Gigguk made a video about it, Gigguk the YouTuber, um, and I was very interested and picked it up, and no regrets, super good, super entertaining, um, I'm excited to see where it goes. Here we have Pleasure and Corruption, which is essentially a hentai with a story, I guess, uh, 
not gonna talk about this one too much. My Hero Academia, which almost volume 30, which is kind of cool. And then My Hero Academia Vigilantes, which, you know what? I'm actually really excited about it. I sort of hesitated buying it at first. I thought I was maybe only going to read the first few books and return it um, because I didn't really see myself being too interested in it. But you know what? It's very good. Um, enjoying it almost as much as the original one. It gives a little bit more context for some of the characters in the like main series. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend it. Good Um... Okay, so this series is kind of difficult to read, as in only like one book comes out every year or so. Um, therefore, whenever I buy a new book, I sort of have to go back and reread the last book or the last two books because I forgot what happened, which sort of spoils the experience a little bit. But regardless, um, keep it up. Hoshino, you're doing good. We're your, your fans are supporting you and yeah, keep it up Noragami um, not too much to say about Noragami it's a very good series I hope it's ending soon because this is another one that like books come out quite rarely so it's kind of a slog to have to reread the last book every time but do what you gotta do Ancient Magus' Bride you know really low key series um I read it, I'm like, wow, this was enjoyable, and then I forget about it, and then when I get the next book, I sort of procrastinate, because I can't, I always forget that I actually enjoy it, and I read it, and I'm like, oh, why did I procrastinate, this is quite good. But Blood on the Tracks, which is by the same person who did Happiness, this will definitely also be in my video with the clickbait title of, I would never recommend a series to anyone, um, super good, super creepy, um, super intense. Appa Sims, only one book left, so I'll be able to move this bad boy up the shelf soon. Um, Go with the Clouds North by Northwest, Flying Witch, another really low key series. Um, but this one, which is interesting, is I don't have to reread because it is so low stakes and so chill that you know I just read it, I remember who the characters are, and that's all I really need because it's so you know nice and anecdotal, and I uh, like it a lot. Gletmir. And Spy Family. Really enjoying Spy Family. This was originally a series that my partner picked up that I ended up liking so much that I kept collecting up and reading it on my own. So, Mashal. One, two. Chainsaw Man. If you buy books yourself, you may be aware of how difficult it is to find this series at the moment. It is out of stock everywhere. Um, so I just buy the volumes when I see them and hopefully one day I'll have the second volume which will let me read the third one because I've only read the first one. Grenelier is another one of my partner series. Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Just picked those up actually. I ran into a friend of mine at a bookstore who um, was buying the, la the latest volume and I asked him if he liked it. He said yes, he recommended it to me and... I couldn't find a good reason to say no other than my wallet. <laughs> uh, that's irrelevant. I'll always buy books. Wolf and Parchment um, and Mars Red are two series that I just started. I'm going to give them until maybe the second or third book. And if I like them, I'll keep, uh, keep reading them. Now, one series that I'm actually not going to continue and that uh, I will return to the bookstore next time I go is 86 definitely do not like this i love the anime but the art is so inconsistent it literally changes from panel to panel and i don't like that so the books are not for me and then here we have um actually, i don't know why those are disorganized but i have three makoto shinkai books so i have your name um and your name and then I have Weathering with you. And then I have a manga called The God's Lie, which is by the same person who did The Golden Sheep. Super good. And then I have that short story compendium of Io Saki Saka, which is the person that did Strobe Edge, Blue Spring Ride, and Love Me, Love Me Not. I have the Wolf Children manga, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, and Wodakoi. I have not read Wodakoi yet. I've heard so many good things 
My partner picked up the first book, and I have yet to read it, but I fully intend to, and I'm sure I'll enjoy it. So that was my whole collection. I do have miscellaneous manga scattered about my apartment, but I don't really consider them to be a part of my collection since I have no desire to continue those series. Some are going back to the bookstore and some are just gonna stay there, I guess. And yeah, even though I am running out of space, I have no intention of stopping. I love manga, I love owning it, and it makes me happy. And like I say, anything can be a shelf if you're not a coward. And if you're curious about any of the series I have in there, make sure to leave a comment. I might just make a video about it. Well, that was my manga collection. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did indeed enjoy it, consider subscribing. This was Manga Analysis, and I'll see you in the next one.